Welcome to Tales from the Flipside. This is Modern Playbook Roundtable. Make sure to use the code FLIPSIDE for a two-week free subscription to the Key Collector app. Let's go around and introduce everyone. Steve from My Bargain Comics. Check us out on Instagram or eBay. Good to be here. Hey, guys. This is Joe, Red Hood Comic. Glad to be here. Let's have some fun. Hey, what's going on? Rich Taylor, Dollar. Good to see you all. Hi, I'm, I'm Samson, Comic Book Journey. And I'm Aaron. You can catch me at uh, Comic Book Food Chain or hit me up on my personal Instagram. All right, Rich, you got something uh, you want to discuss with the panel today, huh? Yeah, so, you know, we're a little late since the Falcon and Winter Soldier ended a few weeks ago. But I wanted to bring up Contessa Val and, uh, you know, the speculation behind her possibly being casted as Madam Hydra, which it's speculation. There's no guarantee, as you guys know, but I mean, that's what I'm thinking. Now, there's two books right now that are in question in the wild, or uh, not in the wild, but on the market, and that is uh, Secret Warriors 2 versus Secret Warriors 6. Uh, Secret Warriors 2 is labeled by many as a first appearance of of Contessa as Madam Hydra, but um, I guess a new Madam Hydra. And then six is the reveal. Okay, so let's hit the slides, Aaron. So you see here the, the story starts. Um, you see in the top left corner. Pay attention to the lo uh, top left corners as the artist is now. I'm sorry, the artist and uh, writer are navigating us through, I guess you could say, his imagination of this story. Uh, it says now the cocoon and then, you know, Nick Fury and Quake are over here, you know, talking, so on and so forth. And then we go to the next slide. It's a little bit further in the book, but then you see on the left, it says two weeks ago. OK. And on the right, you see your what we believe or what a lot of people are saying are is the first appearance of a new Madam Hydra, which we find out in six is the reveal. Um, we move on to the next slide. There in the top left corner, we have two days ago. You see on the right is the council. It's the first team appearance of this council. There's Madam Hydra, the new Madam Hydra. Okay. Now there's one problem with this, and these are full. Uh, this this is full appearances. Uh, go to the next slide, Aaron. These are full appearances. There's word bubbles. The name is in there. Multiple panels, seen in full, or what have you. But the issue with this is the fact that this is during a flashback. Okay. Now I know some comic book collectors are literal in the appearances in chronological order, but basically what I'm used to and what the market has swayed towards is, you know, first appearances during main story. So let's move on to secret wars. Number six, you see Madam Hydra, Contessa Val, Madam Hydra, uh, the new Madam Hydra is on the cover, which, you know, that's more of a, of a market thing let's move on to the next one um you see the the writer now tokyo japan so this is main story okay boom there's her first word bubbles what have you and then she's shown in full multiple times you see here word bubbles you know shown in full what have you um and then I'm, we're skipping through the book, the epilogue, which epilogue basically is another word for like reveal. Um, that's Contessa that she's talking to Nick, her, her ex on the phone and she's, and there's her Madam Hydra. And there's where it reveals that the new Madam Hydra is Contessa Val uh, De La Fontaine. So um, my point being is, is that, you know, for many years and, and what the way I was brought up with uh, chronological orders with um, first appearances, um, at least for a long time, it was, it was basically looked down upon if that first appearance actually appeared in, I guess you could say a 
flashback or flash forward or dream sequence. They're all pretty much very similar compared to main story. So in my opinion, the first full appearance or first appearance of, I guess you could say first full appearance of the new Madam Hydra, which is, which is Val Contessa is number six, which is also your, you know, first cover and reveal. Uh, number two, like I said, it's there's no arguing that that is definitely there, she's definitely appearing, but that is during a flashback. So, you know, I, I mean, you guys make your own decision by what you like. You know, I, it's just in my opinion, I think that um, the main story is more important than the flashback. You got any input on this, Steve? I, I, I do not. I do not have your your level of expertise. I haven't. I haven't read it my myself, um, so it sounds like a good argument to me. Um, yeah, good, good, good homework. Thanks. Cool what about you, Samson? Picture, oh, Joe. Sorry, Joe. No, it's just a great, great, great piece of art, and said I haven't even started being bad yet. I love it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, I, you know, I agree. I, you know, I think uh, by all the evidence. Um, I would actually, uh, I would actually shoot for the issue six. I mean, it's the it has a the cover and it has the right guts that I'm always looking for. I mean, I I never really uh, merit like um, flashbacks. I consider those are kind of like cameos, I guess. But um, you know, you're onto something, Rich. Yeah, I agree. Like uh, cameos. Uh I agree that or mentions. Um, yeah. yeah, I totally, totally agree. I mean, we bring up some, uh, some examples. Um, what if 33, um, there's a, there's a cameo of Omega red in there, but it, it came out, I think it was the same day of as X-Men four. It's, it's during, um, like, uh, Jean gray and she's, she's having a daydream. She's it's going through her mind and, you know, so I don't know. The market didn't count that, even though it's a you know it's a solid you know appearance of his face or what have you. Um, Thor 372, um, time variance authority. You know there is multiple panels of of members of the TVA besides Justice Peace, and including Minutemen and also um, the facility um, and the Minutemen on their on their ones and twos or what have you. But unfortunately lot of people are labeling it as a first mention because it's during a flashback and a flash forward um, another one and you could bring up the next slide Aaron which this is the big one a lot of people for many years called this Boba's <laughs> second appearance but as of recent um, we're finding out two things that one um, you know, uh, Bobo is being confused with another character, but this, this panel where Boba appears, if you see in the top left corner, it says a long time ago, this is Finn talking to, um, princess Leia and he's explaining. So it's basically a flashback. And also, you know, on top of that, it's a, a partial dream sequence or explanation sequence or what have you. So, you know, the second appearance of Boba Fett or what have you is no longer that. It's more of a cameo, like Samson said, or a mention. Appearance in a flashback. Hey, guys. Um, yeah, I mean, you know, I just threw this up there. When this video premieres, um, FOC it will already pass. But keep an eye out. I think, I believe it's May 26th. It comes out. Star Wars Adventures 9. Um, cover B has Boba on the cover. It's not a first cover, but in the guts are the first full appearance of Boba in the Star Wars Adventures. Um, I guess you could say IDW Star Wars Adventures title, um, that continuity universe of this uh, story arc. So keep an eye out. It's, it's not going to be that many. I, not a lot of people are talking about it. And, you know, the Star Wars Adventures books are very low ordered, low print. I definitely like picking up these Star Wars Adventures books. Um, Definitely, yeah, I'll probably order some of these. Okay. Actually, Aaron Aaron got me on these. <laughs> <laughs> but but aren't they, even the uh, IDW books? Aren't they considered uh, uh, canon along with the rest of uh, what Marvel yeah. publishes? 
I, I, I think so. I think so, right, Aaron? Anything that doesn't contradict the movies is canon, right? Yeah, so, I, would, I would say so too, because you know you have that Disney logo at the bottom left corner on all the yeah. IDW Star Wars books. So Yeah, it I, seems I, like these I'm sorry, Aaron. Oh, go ahead. No, I just see it seems that these uh, IDW uh, Star Wars books are a lot more popular than the actual Marvel ones, the the High Republic that I've been getting at. <laughs> Everybody's been gravitating towards this series more, it seems. I, I think that's the I think partially though, that's a, a partial price gouge on the, on the incentives and stuff. I mean, I mean, even like the, the morning of release or the day before release are so expensive, you know, people and people, most people don't order pre-order, you know, I'd say probably 95% of the community don't pre-order or have a subscription, you know, and, uh, and I think people are just probably tired of going to the shop and them never being there or being, you know, three, four times ratio or, you know, four, five, ten times cover. So, you know. The, the funny thing I find with the IDW Star Wars Adventures title is that because it's, uh, you know, licensed from Marvel is that it's been rebooted. I think this is the third Star Wars Adventures series from IDW. Yeah. So it's just like every Marvel series. Uh, Tales of a Villainy. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah. I think, and I think that Tales of Villainy is just like a um, what do you call it? Like a subtitle. It's not even like yeah. if you go to Diamond. I I think it's just listed as Star Wars Adventures. Yeah. Um, do you believe, as silly as it sounds, there's a Star Wars Adventures thirteen? I think it's the first volume that has a uh, a story again, a silly story with Max Rebo. Mm. in it and um I, I believe he encounters boba in that but um I, i'd have to go back um so that might be the yeah. first cameo right because yeah this, I, I believe that that well at least what my shop's saying they're saying his first full appearance i yeah. double checked it i read the first i read every book in the first volume and i didn't see Did him in there, okay so, yeah but I mean, I just literally just went through them. You know, I right. could have totally missed them. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I, I feel I feel like these titles are kind of like I don't want to say forgotten about, but like um, overlooked when it comes into like stuff of what's canon, what's not, and then there's all these arguments between like, always Marvel and Dark Horse. But then it's right. like you have these coming out of left field, and it's kind of like, well, don't forget about these which are also in canon. So, right. right. No, I think it's just, uh, well, I'm sorry, Steve. Go ahead, Joe. No, I was just saying, it's just, uh, you know, doing your homework and, and doing your research like, like you did with Madam Hydra. I mean, it just takes work. I mean, you can't, uh, you know, take, take it for somebody else's uh, word. I mean, dollar, I mean, uh, uh, the way you research uh, those books, that's the new way of speculation. I mean, you gotta you gotta dig and you gotta read and you gotta do your research. That that that's the only way you're going to uh, stay on top of this game because it, it it's not the spec is not going to be given to you. You know, you gotta go out and hunt for it. So exactly, exactly, Joe. You gotta read. Yeah. yeah. Definitely. I agree. Nothing, nothing beats reading. Um, my, my worry with um, Boba Fett is that he, he's going to become like Wolverine and, and Deadpool. Right. And they're just <laughs> going to, he's going to be like on every cover and, and every story. And um, it's going to get played out. Yeah. Yeah. Well, you got to have like at least three different versions of him, too. Like we have the new armor that's coming up. Like, right, I'm waiting right. for, yeah, I'm waiting for someone to find the uh, prototype armor in a comic book. And then, oh, uh, Lord, yeah. <laughs> I mean, because there's the action figure, right? Right. So, oh, yeah. Yep. Shout out to Topher. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So uh, does anyone want to show off pickups? I'll go. <laughs> okay. All right. <laughs> so... Um, uh, I picked up a bunch of IDW rare variants. 
and I'm sending some to my friends and maybe in some uh, future shows we'll do some some giveaways. I know Mel, I've got to send you off a package. I haven't sent it off yet. Thanks, um, thanks. But I will. Um, this is a. Um, is it this Darth is Maul? Actually, this is just a cover B. If you like dark Darth Maul, looking very freaky he's with cold, battery body. You know, this book's for yeah, you. He looks like he's cold. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. It's not the it's not the best uh, Darth Maul cover ever. All right, um, but RI variants. You don't see this one much, right? Mm -mm. Um, but I think the one that people really will like is is this one, you know, mm -hmm. Sherry in action. Um, I'll get to some more of those, but just some things I picked up around, you know, this was uh, 2015 era spec, but you know, with image and I think that, yeah, this is is this Skybound as well? I think yeah, it's Skybound, you know, Kirkman's label, so. Um, it has some potential. This is a print? Four, fourth print. Fourth print. What mm. happened to that property? It was it was rolling really well, and then all of a sudden it like stopped. The it was a AMC, right? Yeah, AMC. I think so. Mm. Oh, really? Okay. Yeah, I have a nine eight for the first print. Yeah. <laughs> well, no kidding. <laughs> yeah, this, yeah, this is a a um, one of those uh, toy pack uh, versions of Legacy. It's actually pretty beat up. Uh, there's a sort of a tear there but if, it was like 75 cents so it was like yeah hey nice um the world of black hammer sherlock frankenstein this is the local comic shop day all red variant you know uh, it's crazy I, i'm sorry to cut you off i was yeah, talking, no, go ahead. i was talking to gary Dust. i was digging through the box and i found the um uh ny i didn't know there was an nycc variant for um sherlock frankenstein retail yeah. i was like oh wow nice yeah, one of these days I want to get that Black Hammer that's like the Justice League um, uh -huh. cover. Yeah, I, I don't have that. Um, right before the show, I was reading an advanced copy uh, PDF of uh, Black Hammer, the um, the new series that's coming out. It, it, it's a really good first issue. It it, it it keeps up, you know, continues with Lucy as Black Hammer. Nice. Uh, like 20 years later. It's really good. So, um, I got I have the ash can. Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. I've got a couple of the ash can, that, and that's hard to get, to get a nine eight. Yeah. Yeah. I think it's, I've tried it, it. Shout out I've to Key Collector. Time. Yeah, <laughs> I know this was on our top ten a couple weeks ago. I forget who submitted it. That was me. Uh, that was uh, that's okay. the first Doctor Voodoo. Right. That's the yeah, first and full. Amazingly, though, right? What's that? Is that fifty four? The start, uh, first full. Well, I've I've got both. Okay, yes, yes. So you got the the I, I'm still strong cameo the and the first full. Yeah, I know yeah. it's amazing. But they're they yeah. they're like over ninety or over eighty five thousand orders by retailers. Ah, uh, is that why I'm still finding them? Okay. <laughs> keep sometimes eye, keep we worry about when something makes the list that it'll just disappear. But um, I I uh, love that spec uh, for the MCU as well. But I mean, long oh, term, I love it. Yeah. Keep an eye out for that one in fifteen, Chris uh, Bacallo. That thing's sick. Yeah, this. Uh, a lot of people know I love promo comics. I picked this one up. This is Lego Batman Secret Files. Nice, I, know, I love that. That's cool. Yeah, I think it was like a, either SDC or Walmart. I think this was SDC. I can't remember. Anyway, nice. um, another IDW variant. This one I like a lot better than the Darth Maul. This oh, is wow. um, uh, Asajj Ventress. Actually, this is a cover B. And she says on there, I don't think my camera has the resolution. Um, but she's saying, there's no need to be shy. I won't hurt you. Probably. So, <laughs> I like that. Bunch of <laughs> That's awesome, Steve. Yeah, yeah, I like that one. Uh, Justice League, Daniel, I, I never can help picking this up when I see it for cheap. You know, you've got the first vibe, the first gypsy. Same. You know, Same, so um, you never know. I, the thing with DC is that even though they've used gypsy and vibe in their CW shows, they're, they're not afraid to use characters in other media, uh, you know, uh, in, in uh, animation or, 
or, or movies. So just because they're on TV doesn't necessarily mean that they're uh, you won't see them in another in another uh, form. Whereas I feel like Marvel, you know, it's like you you got to use them in one place. You know, like I, I have a feeling, just a general feeling, like we're not going to see Modoc in any movies anytime soon because we've got the Hulu series, right? Mm -hmm. um, with all the talk about Zeus, I know there's been some rumors about Hercules, so I figured, okay, first solo mini series. Um, I, I also picked up the second mini series, which is easy to confuse. Uh, so yeah, you know, uh, you know, a lot of mine are, are cheap bets. Uh, Hulk two, first A bomb, right? Hawkeye eight. Is the Hulk two first no, Red Hulk also? That's the yeah, first full yeah, appearance yeah, of Red yeah. Hulk in story. Yeah. I, I try to avoid that trouble of of <laughs> yeah, I don't get <laughs> in those religious arguments of hey, uh, yeah. first full appearance, <laughs> Red Hulk in story. Uh, Hulk two, 2008. Don't at me. Don't at me. Ah, uh, go ahead, at me. I got oh, this the, the send a Nico. Yeah, yeah. Favorite cover and it's, it's fucking Nico maybe by to the I, maybe by like five of those fucking things. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> fucking Nico. Um, Spider Woman second that's, print. That's a dope oh, cover. Man. I believe. I like that. Is, is there a is there an argument out there that this is the first Silk cover? Is there, or am I just totally making that up? Mm, I'm not maybe sure. Maybe I'm making it up. Maybe it's the second cell cover. I I don't know. Anyway, it's a it's cool with the blue and second print. Really nice. Yeah, yeah I haven't heard that one, Steve. That, but I'll, I'll okay. I'll I, I, I probably made it up, or someone else someone else made it up. <laughs> How lame! You're lame, Steve. Yeah, I, I know. I'm lame like that. But this thing is cool. I I, I this is like the second or third time I picked this one up. The, this is the third print. To uh, ASM five twenty nine. That's cool. Yeah, that's, I like that. Um, got some Star Wars books. Nice. nice. We've got Star Wars Jedi. Oh, you, that pick, you picked all these up today or during the week? Uh, like during the past week or two. Okay. But right in time um, for May the Fourth, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Right. Exactly. Um. Yeah, again with Hercules. Nice. Right. Some nice. cheap bets, hip hop, you know. Hey nice. Steve, uh why uh since you seem to know Hercules, um what do you think about Aries? Yeah, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. You guys uh I don't know too much about about him. You know, I, I didn't study my Greek or Roman mythology uh enough. Or my yeah. Marvel history. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So. I specced on him in 2018. All so. right. I mean, he, he, he <laughs> it's was, it's oh, in the oh, dead spec. Box. He was overpowered as hell in that, in that little Facebook game that I used to play. <laughs> <laughs> um, I got some CG, uh, CGC um, submission back uh, yeah. two weeks ago. Nice. So that was, that was nice to see. Uh, unpressed. Unpressed. I sent in. I, I haven't I don't do this much. I sent in like twenty five unpressed and twenty two came back nine eight. I wow. Got nice. Yeah. Almost ran the uh, gauntlet without a press. That's amazing. Yeah. Will you, will yeah you it's know? possible. It's possible. Uh some of you may have seen this on my IG since we did that nice. Um, you did that dealer flip side with CBC uh CBCS nine point sixes. Uh, this this is my first step into that religion. So, nice. <laughs> yeah. Mel, how, how do you feel about that dinosaur? Is is he okay? Because he's, yeah, he, he's cool. Because he, he's protecting. <laughs> he take care. He's protecting the little black girl. Okay. He's all right. Yeah. He's, all right. He's, uh, <laughs> this is something I never thought I'd see uh, worth fifty dollars, much less a hundred or more. Wow. I mean, if if you had a books a million around you. Uh, f for the past, uh, up until about a year ago or two, they were littered. I mean, you couldn't walk through a second in Charles or books a million without hitting like a stack of like 300 of these per store. 
and now they're actually worth something. It, it's it's unbelievable. What are Raw's going for? That's a good question. I don't know. I don't know. But hey. you know, it's a Canaan one, even though it has Vader on it. So right. Yeah. Did, did those come in those packs with like um, where it had like Princess Leia? The they they sold them individually, and then when they couldn't get rid of them individually, they put them in packs, and oh, then they tried to I get have, rid of them. I have yeah. a couple of those then. <laughs> yeah, I mean, th yeah, those books you couldn't couldn't find. Uh, I mean, you couldn't get rid of, and now you can't find them. Yeah. Um, Miles Morales three variant. You don't see this very often. Yeah. I'm not. I'm not, I'm not even putting this up for sale for a while yet. And then I think I have one more. That's uh that's the uh Pachilli one in one in twenty-five, right? Yes, the yep, that's one in twenty-five. Oh, and this this is a gift someone gave me. Someone actually bought this from me. Um, I wanna say maybe for like five hundred bucks about two months ago. And I I always almost always ninety-nine percent of the time have a thirty day return policy on all my eBay. Um all my eBay items, and they sent me a message. I don't know, fourteen days in, and they said, uh, "I didn't know this wasn't the first full appearance of Yelena Belova." No, it is. It is. And I was like, "Well, you know, I don't get into those arguments, but okay, if you're not happy, yeah." I'll do that. And I was like, waiting for a, a week, hoping this 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 gentleman would please send it back to me because <laughs> it had increased in value so much. And it did. <laughs> and, and I've never been happier about getting a return request. Um, so nice. it's back up on eBay, but for like double the price. And, and if any of our viewers have ever seen a, that book that Steve just showed in a newsstand copy in the wild or ever, please let me know. Uh, oh. IG at underscore d o one l a r dollar underscore thanks all right that's all i've got for this this week hey steve uh the in humans uh it's it's a full appearance i mean i know i've made comments in the hangout stating you know oh you know the black widow uh the the variant or what have you but it's a full appearance i mean she's in many panels she's talking she's named i mean you just don't She's got a mask on. She's got a disguise on. Well, I, believe I, me, I, yeah. I, I, I've done my homework on on that. I, I've read a raw <laughs> copy of this just in, in the past uh, month or two. And she does everything except say, my name is Yelena Belova. <laughs> I, mean, <laughs> I mean, that's it. So to me, it's a pretty good appearance. You know, I'm not going to put any flag on the ground. These, these things are, you know, these, these arguments about cameos and first, they're bigger than me. I, I just go with the flow and let, let the market decide. Um, but I feel like I feel like it's a pretty good appearance, just like you said, Rich. How much did you yeah. sell it for? Well, at the time? At the time I think it was like I sold it for like 500 and now I have it listed for, for like, like 999 nine. <laughs> I, I, I mean, it'll, it'll sell for that as the movie it's gets It's going to go yeah. up. It's yeah. gonna go up. Oh, it might yeah. even be a hole right go. now. Yeah. yeah, yeah, it'll definitely yeah. go up. So, thank you, Mister eBay user, for returning this <laughs> to, to its rightful owner. <laughs> thank you very much. Couldn't have happened to a better guy. Mm -hmm, thank mm -hmm. you. All right, I'll, okay, I'll, go, I'll go next. All right, uh, and this one's for Joe because you're gonna press this this little guy right here. So, this is a uh, New Mutants Annual Top Two. Book. Tough yeah, book. very tough, tough book. It's a nine four, but it hasn't been pressed. I'm happy if you if you can press a nine six, Joe. Can you hear me, Joe? <laughs> 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 All right. Yeah. Oh yeah. So um. Oh yeah. Shout out to the IG yeah, family. Yeah, and um, and everybody in the tag room. I'm doing a um, on my IG. It's actually um my comic book journey, and actually um I do themes. I'm trying to do things every week or two um so uh my theme of this week is actually uh psylocke so main four right here i, I like uh, your ig I, I i like that wood table and you do mm -hmm. the, 
the paintbrush and the everything. Paint, yeah, oh yeah, yeah, and That's the tube, cool. the tube of lube. No, is that what it is? No, 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 no. No, 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 it's paint. no I'm sorry, I'm sorry, viewers. I didn't say that. No, it's just actually it's, it's paint. Is that what it's that paint. is? <laughs> everybody, everybody always asks me. So why do you always put paint, paint brushes and and paint? Um, oh yeah. So and then I got I got this this is for you, Mel. So, oh, so originally, uh, I was on shopping on Amazon, and I, I found one of my grails that I've been searching for for over a year. It was a Miss Marvel uh, 25, and uh, so I was I scooped it up. I found it because nobody bought it. I was like, why is it still here? Um, and then the guys gave me this. <laughs> he didn't give me my my Miss Marvel 25. So uh, a lot of Amazon. Yeah, <laughs> but this one's actually pretty rare too. Um, you know, th this has a really uh, I don't know. I don't know the print run. I think it's yeah, like the, it had a it's really qualifier. qualifier. It is a qualifier. I mean, it's a it's it's a good book, but I wanted the Miss Marvel one. Um, let's see. And then I went down this rabbit hole. Uh, thank, uh, shout out to uh, to to Steve yeah. and 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 Mighty Mel. Uh, shout out to. Uh, to mortal idiots and and yeah. uh, the IG family because you guys got me on this uh, rabbit hole of, of, of this of these books man Invincible uh, oh my gosh man and uh so I got this one did you I'm looking for number nineteen anybody listen I'm looking for nineteen yeah and then Eight. I and then this is this one right here I'm gonna do it real quick because it's a it's a ghost. If you can see it, <laughs> <laughs> well, it's actually uh, um, I'm, and then this is you, Steve. Oh, you right here. Nice. Uh, yeah, Dynamo Five right here. Some Dynamo Five. Um, uh, some more Dynamo Five. I mean, everybody dies, man. So invincible. <laughs> I'm like, God. What, I mean, what, what do I look for? I mean, the story is amazing, but Jesus, yeah, I, I just I, finished season one last last Love night. It. Oh, yeah. it's so Loved good. It. Yeah. Loved it. So I didn't good. finish the last two episodes, though. So. The great thing about, about Invincible is that people don't, that haven't even read the book, I mean, every time I walk around the street or I'm at eating someplace, um, people are, like, talking about that series. Yeah. Uh, um, I got Shadecraft. This is a, a new indie book that I I, am, I just started reading. It's pretty good. I liked it. Uh, this one right here was a surprise right here. I'm reading uh, – Reading in black, another indie from Image. How do you like um, it? Do you like it? Kyle, Kyle, Kyle Higgins. Oh yeah, it's actually. You know what? It's so this this book is so positive. So if you want to read a positive book, go after this one. Go after this book. Um, give it a try. Um, it's fun. Um, I picked up this this week right here. Mm -hmm. uh, the marble. I mean, I don't know that character. He's pretty. Uh, I don't know. I don't know how I feel about it, but um. I'll read actually the next issue. I think there's a uh, issue coming out after this. Um, what are those one shots? Is that a one shot? Uh, I think. I mean, I when I was reading, well, I, I could have sworn I saw something else. Besides Black Hammer, I also read Marvels too mm -hmm. uh, earlier today. So, yeah. Oh yeah, this is um, issue three, reading in black. Um, and then uh, what else did I get? Oh, I, I don't. I mean. When I read this, I was like, "Oh, I gotta go back. I gotta go back out to uh, to get these guys right here." It's a, I don't know, a first appearance of the Magic Man, I guess. That's the latest uh, issue, right? Yeah, the latest issue. And I went back, and uh, oh yeah, shout out to Forbidden Planet. Uh, these those guys are awesome over there. Um, what else did I get? I got I just got a bunch of random things. Oh, I love this cover right here. I found this guy or this girl. My my Emma Frost. Right. Uh, Craig Horn. Oh, yeah, 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 make it. Yeah, make it rain. Make it rain. Yeah. Um. Oh yes. And then this, I got another one of these. I don't know why I bought it. Agents of Atlas. Uh, second print. I don't know if it's a. I think it's a, the second volume. Volume. I don't know. Uh, you never know with Marvel. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> uh, oh yeah. Then I got this in the mail. I just like the cover. It's just a like cover by. Uh, I love uh, Storm with her with her mohawk mm -hmm. and the white eyes. I like the, the oh white and eyes. the white eyes. Uh, 
got another one of these Invincible Tent um, Iron Man Tent because it was actually in decent uh, condition, and I like the cover. Um, let's see. Oh yeah, then this one right here. Um, I forgot I ordered this. I ordered it off of a shout out to Nostalgia Collectibles and Cards and stuff. Um, he apologized because uh, I ordered this like I um, maybe a month ago. <laughs> and I forgot about it. And I was like, what are, what are these books right here? So, uh, and I was like, oh, I did. Uh, I, I, I actually looked on my eBay, see if I ordered on eBay. Then I was like, no. And then I was like, oh, I looked. And then I looked on my IG. Um, some more Psylocke. Psylocke. I don't know Original costume? Yeah, Ninja Psylocke. The first appearance of what, Ninja Psylocke? Yeah. And it's so, it's so confusing. And then uh another uh mandarin psylocke oh mm -hmm. that's what he yeah. right there. yeah so i got two of them and they're yeah they're decent i think they, i think they're uh 9.8 candidates um and then i got this right here there you go steve you want to see it remember yeah remember how i got it in the mail second print oh right 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 yeah <laughs> you it's survive. For, you, for you joe again <laughs> Joe's gonna have a lot of work. Well, that's, a, right. that's a second. That's a second print. Yeah, I know. I got right. it. I, I, uh, uh, yeah, I got it. Uh, it was a steal. Uh, I mean, it's not. It's not in the best of conditions, but uh, I'm happy with it. I just like the cover. I mean, I, uh, I, I have like a bunch of the first prints. Uh, what else? Is I got. Oh, I got a bunch of these guys. Uh, that was a great Tony submission. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, I got uh, I don't know, uh, yeah, Deadpool, Deadpool and, yeah. yeah, the aliens. Yeah. I got it. And then uh, I picked up these. These. Uh, this is my favorite um, Silk cover. I think it's the last issue. Um, oh, Helen wow. Chan, Helen Chan, right here. This is actually a really tough um, find to in high grade. By the way, if you can find a nine eight, um, definitely hold on to it. And that's about it. Cool. Yeah. Well, I gotta go, guys. Uh, I want to thank you for having me. And uh, thanks, Mel. Thanks, Mel. to have you. Yeah, thank you. Appreciate well, it. Good to, good to see you again. The other flip side. Thank you. Yeah, I'm. Uh, I'm gonna steal it. So. <laughs> All right. I'll be on different channels. So, uh, I'll, I'll make, make, I'll, I'll make a special drunken edition. <laughs> thank you. I'll see you guys later. Have a good one. <laughs> later, bye. Right, see you, Mel. Right. Um, I'll go real fast. Um, okay. First, I want to start out with a uh, shout-out to Steve Horn and MyBargainComics.com. You can see, uh, you can catch them on IG or on the secondary market. But what did I do now? Um, oh, wow. I've always liked this book. I, I, I have one copy, but since and, – and that's another thing uh, – you know, to to the panel and our viewers, uh, the panel will probably agree. We, you know, on our Spec Ten that um, that premieres on uh, Tuesdays and uh, sometimes Wednesdays. Uh, you know, we practice what we preach. You know, we don't buy our own books; we buy our other friends' books. You know, uh, and and you know, this was on Steve's uh, list, and it's going into the CG our May CGC submission. So, cool. yeah. Um, also my, this is, I got these in uh, February, I think, but it was, a. It, I haven't showed these yet, but it, my dad bought these for me for my birthday and he went online himself and tried to buy me some books and I gave him some websites that I, that were reputable or trustworthy. So shout out to sniff comics. And because, um, apparently according to my dad, he said that, um, he said that uh, he was a very nice young man and um, the person he dealt with and he gave me an extra comic, which I'm going to show you the third one, but uh, um, he got me this one. Nice. Gosh. Great. Okay. I'm you know, excited her face over that. On, the, on the cover and plus yeah. the reveal is there. Re -re the name. name yeah, reveal. The, yeah. The third print. And then you got the, um, the second print for number nine, uh, sniff comics, sniffcomics.com. And then this is the book he gave my dad for free. Nice, nice. Pretty cool, huh? I was yeah. very yeah. excited, very excited. 
Um, shout out to Blue Green Artifacts. Now he's got me on Armor Wars and uh, and Machine Man. I got one of these. I paid a little bit more than I wanted to, but you know, I don't. I, I think it's first solo, and there's also a first appearance in this. Um, but uh, yeah, I, I've been looking for this book. It's in really good condition. So um some blade spec but you know there's there, no keys no first appearances just like covers and stuff but we get four past those this one right here yeah. shout out to phil he didn't give me this book but he he gave me uh and and the mighty mel v um he gave me this uh idea to go after the samuel l jackson purple lightsaber books and this is the one in ten nice. and um yeah i think it's a great cover Look how bright that lightsaber is. Mm. And look at it, Samuel L. Jackson. He's like, that's <laughs> badass, dude. Yeah. Every time like, I look uh, at this, I, I see yeah. his face. I think of that that part in Pulp Fiction when the guys are eating the royal burger with cheese. Yeah. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> um, this one I just picked out of a dollar bin. I, I never even heard of it, but I don't know if it's any good or not. Like, it's I'm new to Star Wars. Wars. Yeah. yeah, it is a nice cover. Yeah, I, I want to say there's like first appearances in that in that series. I don't remember which issues. Okay, cool. I'll, I'll check that out. Thank you, Aaron. Um, shout out to Aaron and the Mighty Mel V for getting me on the bitter root. Oh, David yeah. Matt. Yeah. David Matt. David Matt. Mm -hmm. Love his co his his colors, man. It's a great cover uh, too. Yeah. Yeah. Um, let's see. Uh, I've already I, I was already on this book. Um. But uh, Blue Green Artifacts, he got me to buy a few more, and I'm going to press them and submit submit them. Found these in dollar bins. I think they're three bucks a piece. Or no, the one in ten, one in ten is the is the Iron Man cover. This thing was five bucks. These were, this was five. This was five. This was three. Nice. Um, and to all those that don't know, is the first full appearance of Kazi the Clown, and that's him on the front that i um this is like my own little spec i've been specking on a force um for a while shout out to uh travis ross t de la ross a lifetime longtime friend of mine um from koala comics he also was on the a force train with me um we grew up together we we're in bands together and stuff but yeah i got this is the ramos um one in 25 and um, the person that I got this from, Comics, Tunes, and Toys, and Tustin, Mike, the big to-do, totally hooked me up. I mean, he, I got these, I, and I got a bunch of um, Annihilation Conquest uh, 1 through 4, uh, 30 bucks. Because this book is down right now, right? Because after the King and Black stuff, yeah, right. great time. Because this book was a monster a year ago. Yeah, it was. Like yeah, was like yeah, yeah. yeah, they were trying to sell it for like five hundred bucks or something, four hundred, five for a nine eight. I'm like, geez. Now, now they're listed for about seventy five, selling for about forty nine ninety nine, and then yeah. number two, three, and four is in there too. So I can't read. I've only read one through two, or uh, one through three. I haven't read the fourth one. I can't wait to reread the whole series. And then um, I got another one of these on Amazon. I don't know if it was like my lucky month or something, but shout out to my very good friend and our teammate, uh, Mister Long Short Ben. And he got me on another one of these. Oh, wow. nice. Oh, nice. Yep. And then um, I don't know anything, like I said, about the Clone Wars, Star Wars, but I just pick them up when I get them. Um, and this was also from the Big To Do, hooked me up on the price. And then I got a, a stack of these, which the Big To Do from Comics, Tunes, and Toys also hooked me up on. Um, no, I don't think there's anything. I mean, I, I read right. the first two pages and, and I'll get into it more. Nothing in really in the guts, but that cover is gorgeous. Great cover. Look at that yeah. cover. I posted it on my IG. So yeah, I thought it looked familiar. <laughs> yeah. So that's it. Cool. Joe, did you have any pickups? Yeah, I, I, I picked up a few books, uh, uh, about a week and a half ago. So, um, uh, I don't think this is a key, but it's a great Amanda Connor cover. It's a yeah, I've seen that one before. Pre variant. So I tried looking it up, I couldn't find it. So, huh? I don't know. Nice. And then, um, 
paid a dollar. And then um, I got this for 75 cents. Shit's mint, nice. dude. Nice. Ready for the Lost Ark movie ad. I mean, that's back from my time. So, uh, uh, you said your time. How old are I mean, what what's your time? What I mean, what's the qualifications? Uh, in the seventies, nineteen seventy two. Wow, 19. Joe, you don't. I, I thought you were younger than that. I thought you were in your thirties. Oh man, I I feel young. You know, so you look young. Your face looks young. Oh, thank you, man. You got great hair, bro. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I also have gray hair, but this is hair dye. Oh, I got gray hair, you know. The Gresham formula. <laughs> uh, let's see. X-Men 150. I love that book, Joe. Right? Yeah, so. it's, that's an awesome one, man. I have that, too. Uh, one of my boys got he gave, actually gave me that one. So, it's, it's yeah, that one's really good. I love that issue. Um, This one, the, the reprint. Yeah. Where'd you find that? So I got this at a comic shop for like ten bucks. No way. Yeah. So I pressed the shit out of it. It looks a lot better than what it did. So nice. And then uh, I got two of these. Agent Sam. Connecting. Of course, uh, I couldn't pass up on this. Uh, it's not a key or anything, but just the. Uh, you got to see this. I mean, it's just a beautiful foil cover. Oh, yeah. Very nice. Mama, mama. Mama, so romantic, Joe. I didn't know you were like that. Uh, <laughs> and, uh, Esad Ribic is one of my favorite artists. And uh, this was... Uh, yeah. Oh, man. It's a monster right there. Look at that. So I couldn't, pass, I could, yeah, I couldn't pass for seven bucks. I couldn't pass up on that. Joe, what series is that Thor from? What is uh, uh, let's see. Uh, this one is Thor 609. Okay. But They're I guess really that's nice. when the Iron Man, um, everybody was uh, doing their Iron Man uh, when the movie came out. Yeah, right. It's like Iron Man by design, I think. Yeah. Right. And Alex Ross. Nice. Right? Big Alex Ross fan. Yeah. Though. Me too. And then I found this one. Good old Loki. Dirgevin. Oh. Yeah, this is uh the the variant. Yeah, the color. So oh, that that was it. yeah, wow, I've never seen that one. Nice. Nice. Beautiful. And then uh I like this artist. So me too. Yeah, he's he's different. He's from Russia, right? The artist? Mm -hmm. I think so. Yeah. yeah, I expect on that book. Number yeah, one and I, mean, I, I think this book is gonna be uh this book is gonna be hot. Yeah, number issue two, there's a one in twenty-five Ribic that's really nice. Oh yeah, that, yeah, that, yeah. Background. And then um oh man, I remember that. Jay Lee Hellshock. Jay Lee goodness. Yeah, God, he's a beast. I remember I was I was him for Halloween back in the day. Yeah, what? Yeah. <laughs> oh man, I gotta see the picture. Hell shock! I was hell shock. Nice. Oh, nice. Just uh, Eternals, uh, Eternals number one variant. Nice man. You know, oh, I heard that the Eternals movie is going to be based on the the modern runs. Yeah, I, I, I mean, I've read that in multiple places. I mean, the, the like same the thing. Uh, the same thing happened with Guardians of the Galaxy. Remember, everybody was specking on the old stuff, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. but then uh, they they went to uh, what was that series with the the, the whole team together? What was it? Uh, uh, 2015 series, right? Or 2000? Yeah, 2015. Yeah. And then um, this one, which I kind of like, uh, almost kind of like Falcon esque. Right. Kind of, um, Did you find those see, siege books at Midtown? No, no. I found that here locally. That's so nice, paid, dude. So nice. Paid a couple of bucks for it, man. So, wow. But, uh, yeah, is that Delato? I think Delato. Love Delato. I can never get sick of him, even though others do. I, I don't. Let's see. Uh. 
Yep, Gabriel Delato. Gabriel Delato. <laughs> yeah, and that's it. That's uh. Of course, I picked up some other. I mean, I. Uh, I picked up some like Gen Thirteen newsstands and. So. Some Gen Thirteen newsstand. That's a new. No, that's a direct. Uh -huh. Wait, hold on. No, it's in another pile, but that that's most mostly what I picked up. Uh, I like the Raiders of the Lost Ark because that one's in high grade. I may send that one off just to have it graded. So nice. That's about it. All right, I've uh, just a few books to go over real quick. Um, so I buy uh, Star Wars: Clone Wars: The Battle Tales number one. Uh, so you have who is it? Uh, Commander Wolf. Uh, Cody and Rex all meet up in this book, so I think it's the first time they meet up in canon. Cool. So this is the uh, first print. Uh, so we'll see if that happens in Bad Batch if they meet up and stuff like that. I, you know. And this is the uh, second print, so you can get these for about three or four bucks. Yeah, price. I ordered. I pre-ordered those second prints. Uh, so I want to give a shout out to Wanted Comics sending me this Deadpool thirty nine. Nice. Uh, yeah. Uh, shout out to Ultra. He still has me chasing the second print non lenticular <laughs> covers. So I think I am 14 <laughs> covers away from finishing. So we'll see if, uh, if I complete the set or not. Hmm. Uh, I got the uh, Usagi Jumbo 18. That's the Rich one. Had, that's yeah, the one, Rich. That, Rich, that's the one I was t telling you about. That one. So yeah, I, I want to give, that. yeah, I want to give a shout out to uh, Mighty Mel V and Lucas and all that for, you know, informing the community about how it's a qualifier also that you had to order 10 issues of 17 to even order this. Yeah. Uh, uh, I actually picked it up on, I want to say eBay before like prices started. I don't know what they're at now, but I think I got it for like 20 or 30 bucks. Yeah. That's a hard one. Fine, man. I remember my, one of my boys was telling me like, I don't know, like probably like two months, three months ago about it. And I was like looking at it and that, that artist is actually, she does like children's books. Oh, that's you know? cool. Yeah. You should definitely look her up. I was, I, I looked at her portfolio. It was, it was really Yeah. Really her name's Jennifer Myers. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, and then, yeah, I just like all those uh, retailer incentives that uh, the one in tens that usagi has been putting out. Like there's a lot. Oh, of yeah. Them. They're fire. Cool. This is what yeah. they're doing. This is what I've noticed the last, uh, these four or five covers or whatever they're, Getting comic book artists, I'm not comic book, I'm sorry, artists that specialize in drawing and coloring bunnies, rabbits. Oh, that's, that what, that's what Jen does. She does almost all rabbits and bunnies. And so, yeah, I think that's that's like a thing niche for them. So. I want to give a huge shout out to uh, Steve at My Bargain Comics. He hooked me up with his <laughs> uh, Marvel Action number eight retailer incentive. So, and then he also hooked me up with a number nine. Like before we were filming, I was like, I was like, oh man, like I, I was watching a book and then I found it on your eBay store. So yeah, thank you, Steve. Oh, glad you liked it. And we'll, we'll do some giveaways and I'll take care of the rest of the crew. Don't worry about it. <laughs> <laughs> so, and then I have some couple of local pickups. This is an ice cream man, number 20. Everyone will probably remember the B cover more than the A cover. But, you know, if I can find issue 20, I'll pick it up because I just love that Dr. Sue so much. It's funny. And then my last book, I want to give a shout out to uh, to Half Price Crook, Jessup. He got me chasing after some SpongeBob books. So I thought it was a cool, like. That's a newsstand, too, right? Um, there is a barcode, so I don't know. If yeah, it looks like a newsstand. Yeah, it does. Yeah. It looks like okay. Sweet. Cool. Yep. So that's all I have. All right. I want to thank everyone for joining us. Um, make sure to catch the hot 10 tomorrow night and stay safe out there. <laughs>